Um, no secret, I think hard work, endeavour, resilience, I think we showed all them today, aligned with um, some good footballers and some, we scored the goals at the right time obviously today, um, gave us a foothold in the game, uh, but as I said, um, no secret and we know that uh, hard work is, is paramount to success uh, and we have to keep on doing that. No, not really. I think, um, as I said, it's uh, one where we um, we have a stall out in terms of trying to press teams high. Um, but I think um, the goals were paramount to us today in terms of putting the foothold in the game. How, how pleasing is it to see them match games that kind of mentality given they could have been a hangover from Manchester United? Yeah, uh, we spoke about the importance of starting brightly, um, playing on the front foot if we could very similar to the other night. But obviously, um, we had to show real resilience second half because I think we have to give West Ham credit. They really pin pinned us back. Uh, we had to not only defend our box really well in terms of crosses, deal with uh, Andy Carroll as well in terms of his uh, physicality. Um, and then we had the goalkeeper to save us some uh, really pivotal saves, really crucial saves that uh, in the end helped us win the game. I think you have to in football matches, and we were aware of that. We knew that sometimes it's, you know, I'd love to play silky football, and but this is the Premier League we're speaking about. It's very hard to get back-to-back -back wins. We've managed to do that again now, and um, it's important that you show all the attributes. Sometimes um, you have to show resilience, as I say, and uh, I thought we showed that in abundance today. Yeah, very important. I think all goalkeepers are important, of course, um, but to bring off the crucial saves, um, vitally important today. When, when, people talk about, sorry, when people talk about the top keepers in the Premier League, it's generally Lloris, De Gea, Courtois. You think Casper really should be seen in that bracket? Well, I think he's in the best form I've seen him in since I've been here. Um, so I don't see why not. I think, uh, again, um, I'm very cautious that we don't get too carried away. Um, everybody's feet has to stay firm in the ground because we've still got a lot of work to do. Well, is there anything he's been doing differently or you've been doing different things training? To sort of get no, um, he has a very good goalkeeping coach in Mike Stell. Uh, they work very hard and uh, you can see the rewards that, that happens. Sometimes I suppose centre forwards go through that phase where you know they score and keep us. Uh, he's pulled out some crucial saves for us over the last couple of weeks. I think not only Jamie, I think in the team. I think um, results have a massive bearing in players' confidence. And uh, because we've managed to get them back-to-back -back wins, uh, you can see that the confidence, confidence has returned. Have you changed anything since you took over, like in terms of the training method or anything like that? No, nothing's changed. As I say, it's the, the results that helps you along the way. We have, but we've worked on it all season. Yeah, we've used it before, I think, if you look previously. Uh, and sometimes these things come off, sometimes they don't. And uh, when they come off, it, it looks fantastic in terms of the goal. Uh, but it's something we've worked on all season. No, I think of what offers for the team is just as important and um, as you say, we know that sometimes the goal scorers or the goal savers get a lot of the credit, but I think in terms of the team performance, it's vital that we know the importance of the team. What's the yeah, he had a slight back injury against Seville. We thought we'd give him enough time to try and get over it. He was touch and go, um, but in the end he didn't quite make it. I think the international break will come at a great time for Wes. Uh, we can get him some treatment um, and hopefully he'll be fit and raring to go for the next game. Have any of the players in the last 24 hours spoken about the draw or has that almost been... No, it's been put to one side. I think we've parked it. Uh, I think we wanted to do that. We knew that uh, we were coming here on the back of a, an awful away record. We wanted to try and put that right and uh, talk of Atletico was put to the back of everyone's mind. Did you tell them that or was that just something that was happening? 
No, we said, we said as a group, we said once the draw was made, we know who we've got, let's park that for the time being, let's concentrate on the Premier League games. Thanks, folks. We will do something briefly. Thank you.